the best worst podcast you've ever heard. And now, the Ronnie and Bo Show, brought to you by Prescott Realty. All right, go ahead. Well, no, I, 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 I'm a little tired, Bo. Why are you tired, Ronnie? <laughs> because remember when I told you I got the uh, speeding ticket a couple of weeks back? Oh yeah, I got a. Little I had story to do on that. traffic school. You did traffic school. I did it. I did it online. Uh huh. How uh, many hours did it take? Six, they eight, four. They said it would take four, and I, I swear, I was staring at the computer for about nine and a half hours. Now, part of it is because you get interrupted every four minutes if you got kids. And, yes. You know. 20 minutes at a time or whatever. Oh, on man. Pause. But here, here's my beef with it. What? Okay, so I, I sit there and I'm reading mind-numbing statistics about airbags and which, which because, lane when it's dashed this way or it's this particular color. You know? Because you uh, were going 40 to 30 mile an hour exactly. limit. So and it's I, very important to I'm, know airbags and right, child restraint I, safety <laughs> issues. <laughs> I have to be punished with uh, too much information. And so, um, but they had uh, thrown in little facts about Speed Racer. Do you remember the, the yes. 70s cartoon Speed yeah, Racer? Number five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mach five. And so now like every, every, you know, two paragraphs, they insert a lame little fact, I think just to make sure that you're you're, listening, break it up. Yeah. And (laughs) so I do nine and a half hours of, of stats about this whole, you know, driving world that we live in. And then there's a quiz at the end, (laughs) 25 questions. They're going to give me one shot to get it right. And all 25 questions were about Speed Racer. There and you thought those were the little breaks between the chapters. Yeah, there wasn't one question about Airbags. the material. <laughs> and, and so... The dotted lines on the road. Now, the only upside is... School zone, speed limit. Exactly, none of that. They don't care if I know that, but they care that I know that uh, Speed Racer's little brother was named Spritle. Was that the monkey? This, that was. It's <laughs> the most ridiculous. I, so, did you pass? I, I was up super late last night, and so if I doze off halfway through All here, right. or just randomly start regurgitating driving facts about speed limits and whatnot, then you'll know. Well, you know, what. you and I did that uh, that traffic stop, and I got one for crossing a double white line. Right. And, uh, oh, and I read Portside. all about that. It yep. was three hundred and eighty three dollar fine, <laughs> and so I got the little fine. I put it on my uh, on my desk at home. Right. And forgot about it. Yeah. Oh, and, no. and all of a sudden, the other day, amazing that you brought this up. The yeah. other day, I reached through my pile of papers and yeah. I find it. Oh. And I'm supposed to pay or appear in court on the, before or on the 18th. And I find it on the 23rd. Oh. Or the 22nd. Oh. And I said, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. There's a warrant out for my arrest. Yeah. So I called the number. I said, hey, I'd like to pay over the phone. I'm not <laughs> doing traffic school. You know, jack my insurance up. I don't care. Yeah. I'd like to pay over the phone. They say, okay, there's an $18 processing fee. I said, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, you know, usually I'm right. tighter than a, yes. you know, and, uh, and I paid 400 and something dollars and they said it was approved. So uh-huh. I, I was at five days late and I approved it and I don't know if I have a bench warrant out or not. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, what a way to start a podcast. I know, I know. And we're glad that uh, Prescott Realty tolerates us. They don't just tolerate us, they sponsor us. Yeah, they're great folks. PrescottRealty.com or 928-499-8700. Yep. They've got two offices to serve, downtown Prescott and Williamson Valley. They've been in the Quad Cities area since 1991. Right, and it's their team of specialists, and that's what you need. They don't have just generalists that are okay at a bunch of things. They've got specialists who are really good good at specific things. So give them a call and uh, they can help you out whether you're buying or selling a house or a lot, whatever you need. 928-499-8700. Yep. And then uh, if you would like a Ronnie and Bo hat or shirt, you can visit us on the uh, We've got Facebook them. shop and purchase there. Yes. Uh, also, if you uh, want to email us, please do that because we're going to start incorporating uh, some answers to questions that you sent us and we do not care what you ask. A pretty easy email address to remember since is. this is the Ronnie and Bo Show. Yep. The email address is Ronnie and Bo Show at gmail.com. That's right. That's Doesn't right. get any easier than that. Email us if you got a topic idea or a question. We're going to answer a couple of questions per episode starting pretty soon here. So we've got a brand new segment. Boy, we come up with segments, uh, you know, a, I know. a lot of them, don't we? I know. We got a brand new segment. Yep. Man. Ronnie. 
It's, Go it's ahead. brought to you by the PrescottClothing.com. And uh, here it is. The segment is called If Ronnie and Bo Saw It. If Ronnie and Bo Saw It. Yes. And so that this does not have to do with uh, construction or, uh, you know, hammer and saw. No. Uh, these are movie reviews. Yes. We're going to do movie reviews for movies that we've never even seen. Yeah, there's new movies coming out uh, yep. every weekend. Yep. And, and uh, I, we're, we're going to save you time and trouble by reviewing them for you. Right. And, and you can decide whether you want to go see them or not. I yeah. mean, it's, it's a real uh, helpful little thing that we're doing. It is. Think? It is. And we have not seen these movies, and we don't need to, because all we got is the title, and honestly, that's enough. Ladies and gentlemen... If Ronnie and Bo saw it. All right. Our first movie review. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, the, the movie is called Happy, The Happy Time Murders. What did you think about that movie, Bo? Well, the title says it all, doesn't it, Ron? It does. Uh, I it mean, does. you know, it really, it really did match the title. Yes. If uh, Happy, what was the title? The, <laughs> <laughs> the, the Happy Time Murders. And, and I, I, you know, if you can't be happy with murder, <laughs> then I don't know. Then you must be in a funk or really it, uh, depressed. Exactly. And and let let me give you the uh, snippet. Yeah, sure. And because uh, that'll jog your memory. That's right. Uh, you know, having not seen it, then it won't jog much. But uh, mm-hmm. so two clashing detectives with a shared secret. That's right. One of those detectives is human, and the other one is a puppet. I told you, artificial intelligence plays into this movie. That's, uh, if you're a happy murderer, it, 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 I would give it. I would give it two knife stabs. Uh, you know, that's that's what I'm rating. Is that, this is that your rating? Two, two knife stabs. Okay, well, uh, I only gave it one, uh, just because uh, I, I don't like puppets. Okay, there you go. And that's if Ronnie and Bo saw it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, brought so, to you by PrescottClothing.com. Right, Bo. Um, do you ever do you ever Google yourself? Do I? Like, come on. <laughs> See, you say these things. You know, we had a, we had a, you know, he, Ronnie is like, you know, you think he's, a, you think what? he's a straight laced church what? pastor. I, he's just a I sophomore, asked. twelve year old booger eating, you know, butt picking <laughs> all I juvenile. Ask is if you Google yourself, have you ever done that? Yeah, right. And, I, and you and were I the don't... one. You were the one that came up with the question. What's the seventh planet from the sun? Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. Hey, Bob, have you ever Googled I'm, yourself? I am. I am. I, I don't have any clue what you're talking about. I I'm like that about you, completely man. Completely straight. On you know, this you know one. what? You know what's funny? We we did a couple of press releases. This is true. We did a couple yeah. of press releases, and I was thinking about doing a topic, and I haven't introduced it to you yet, and I don't think it'll it'll develop, but we'll see. I was thinking about doing a topic in future episodes. What what comes up when you Google your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I and, just and, and, yours. And, and 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 the other night I googled Ronnie and Bo and there was a new article. <laughs> I said, where, oh. "Where did this article come from?" It was in, it was on talker.com and it was a press release about our podcast. Oh, that's cool. And so it came up on the Google search. Yeah. But anyways, when I was googling you, there are two twins. You know who these people? No. There there is a set of female twins and it's it, it's two two sisters and it's Anastasia or somebody. Right. And Anastasia and Ronnie Merrill. <laughs> No, there are two, and they've oh. got they've got nine million likes on, on. They're one of these. They're one of these social media. It's it, awesome. look it up, Ronnie Merrill. Awesome. Type up Ronnie Merrill, and you'll see that. That, that is funny. But when you said, "Do I ever Google myself?" I was thinking we should do a whole episode of googling yeah. ourselves and see. Yeah, we will. We'll save that for another time. But the Google, Google search specific. engine is uh, is quite the overwhelming experience. I mean, this is fast. They're measuring now. How quickly, if you Google a search, uh-huh. then I don't know if you've noticed it because it's a little uh, faded and, and a, a smaller font, but it'll tell you, like it, when I Googled Ronnie and Bo, yeah. uh, it said that there were 20,200,000 results and it took 0.4 seconds to find it. But when oh, you say 20 million results, that? there's a lot. It's not our results. Uh, correct. It's, it's everything with the word Ronnie in it and and, and Bo. But, but, but yeah, they're are they just bragging? I you guess. You know, like with the how fast, 0.4 seconds. Is that? I know this about Google. Yeah. Google now processes over 40,000 search queries every second on average. Ugh. Translating to 3.5 billion searches per day. Wow. Google does 3.5 billion searches per day, or we do it through Google, yep. and 1.2 trillion searches per year worldwide. <laughs> that is... I don't know what that means, but that's, that's a, lot a lot of Googling. Of people Googling themselves. Yeah, there you yeah, go. I, I knew the stat was high, but I didn't know it was, it was that high. So, uh, 
when you search for things, uh-huh. you know, they, they start to uh, uh, make a list. Make a list, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I've got I've got a couple of I've got a couple of uh, 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 search categories or okay. search lists. Okay, all right. Um, uh, let me see here. Um, uh, 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 as of June first, twenty eighteen. Okay, all right. Uh, here are the uh, hundred most popular keywords on Google for the past twelve months. Oh, so from June twenty seventeen to June twenty eighteen, here are the hundred most popular keywords on Google. Okay. Uh, let's do the top ten. Okay. Donald Trump comes in at number ten. Donald Trump, not surprising. Five million five hundred seventy thousand. Okay. Uh, number nine. Yeah. Most popular keywords searched on Google: Powerball. Powerball. Yeah. Really? Yeah. A lot of folks want to know what the Powerball is oh, today. All right. Is it worth? Uh, you know. All right. Uh, number eight. I don't understand this. Most popular keywords uh, searched on on Google. Number eight is the thesaurus. <laughs> I don't know why you're searching thesaurus. Why are you thesaurus. Googling thesaurus? Are people, people are trying to look up. They're just trying to make themselves sound smarter than they actually are. Or maybe they're saying, what does the word thesaurus mean? They're well, Googling that word or whatever. I would need it. Yeah. 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 Um, number seven, news. Just the okay. word news. So okay. I guess people are probably typing in news to see the daily news or something uh, like that. All right. Yeah, but not, speed test. Is number six. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I do. I ba- I vaguely know. Okay. If you if you have your uh you know you you're, you're hooked up to the cable company or whatever, and yeah. you've got uh, this the, oh. the KPS or whatever. This yes. this much download speed and this much yep. upload speed. Yeah. Well, if you want to test it, uh huh, you go to a little place and then and you then put it, in your uh, your uh, huh. URL or something, and it'll test you how fast you're going. So that's wow. that's um, speed test, I yep. think. Yep. Okay. Uh, most popular keywords on Google at number five: YouTube to MP3. Interesting. Okay, so that means, that. you know what that means. People yep. are trying to take their YouTube stuff and turn it into an MP3. Right. So they're saying, how do you do that? Okay. Uh, most popular keywords on Google, uh, number four, calculator. People are searching the word <laughs> calculator. <laughs> okay. Um, to, the, to, 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 the point, to, the, to the tune of 16,170,000 searches uh, from June 1st, 2017 to June 1st, 2018. Per month. Wow. No, in a year. In a year. Okay, in a year. Okay. Um, June to June. Most popular keywords on Google, number three, uh, tr- the word translate. Oh, okay. So, you know, so maybe some people are... People want to uh, figure out how to say yeah. this word in another language. Yep, that's okay. right. And All so right. they'll do the English to French uh, uh-huh. translation. Uh-huh. You type that in, and then, yeah. and then that little box comes in. You put your word in, and it yeah. translates for you. So yeah. that's how you get to it, right? Right, right. Or in uh, a fast food lane when you can't understand the person over the no, box. No, they, they don't. They, what they do you translate... Do? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, that's not you think it. They, you think they translate? <laughs> we probably need that translated. Yeah, I think so. Most popular Ma- keywords on Google uh, the past year. Maps is number two. Okay. So I guess maybe that's Google Maps, right? All right. Yep. Hey, you know, I'm going to go over to that uh, event. Let's let's put in the address and see. Right. Uh, let me look at the map to yep. see what it's near or yep. next, right? Google Maps. We all right. do that. I'm going right. to drive to California. Let me put in the map. Yep. See, see. Oh, i got to go through uh, Blythe or something yes. like that. Yes, yeah. Um, and the number one most popular keyword searched on Google this past year, the word weather. Yeah. So you can okay. imagine that, right? So it, people are, yeah. you know, what, what should I wear to, to school today? I've yeah. got to check the weather. Yep. And so it, they type in weather. Because what it is when you wake up isn't always what it is at 3 p.m. or whatever. That's right. Yeah. But okay. that's uh, 24,444,000 searches per month Wow. On, on weather. Wow. I know these were the last year, yeah. but, but that broke down to 24 that, million per month. Wow. So a lot of people, you know. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, you know, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? I got that event. I better see what I should wear." I guess. Right, right. You know? Well, okay. So, um, I, I found an interesting one here uh, uh, w- that that breaks down the Google searches uh, by state. Really? Yeah. So the most Google searches by state. So, yeah. in other words, people in um, Washington State aren't googling or aren't interested in things that people are, are searching for in Florida, right? Correct. And to 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 that point, okay. Washington State's most popular Google search, ladies and gentlemen, was unicorn frappuccino. No, no, it, no. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, it literally wow. was. Wow. I, I don't even understand that at all. But uh, oh, I got you. God bless you, Washington State. And what so, about Florida? F- for Florida. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> Florida, the number one search was uh, Puerto Rico. That makes sense. No, I understand that. Because <laughs> Are they worried about who's coming in or what? No, what? because the hurricanes. Oh, so Puerto Rico gets slammed. Okay, so they know they're like next, that. or or they've got uh, some Puerto Rican population there. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so we're here in Arizona. Uh huh. What, 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 what is the, what is the, 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 what? Do you, how, how do you phrase it? What's the most most googled, googled yeah uh, term or whatever in 2017? Yeah, it is uh, Joe Arpaio pardon. Yes, yeah, yeah everyone Sheriff needs to know about Joe. that. Yeah, pretty popular. Yep, he yeah. was not a r- really well liked yeah, guy, it. but the president pardoned him for doing something, and so. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I'm looking around the the nation here. Um, I see this map now that you're looking at, and it's very interesting. Yeah, uh, New Mexico. The, yeah, the, New- the, the <laughs> most popular search in the state of New Mexico, Samsung Galaxy S. Yep, and right above us in Utah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We're, we're searching Joe Arpaio. Pardon, what is Utah searching the most? Wonder Woman. Uh, I'd rather be searching Wonder Woman than <laughs> Joe <laughs> Arpaio. Huh? That that is true. There's there must be something uh, there. I I don't know. I I'm uh, now I kind of want to avoid uh, uh, Atlanta uh, because the number one Google search in Atlanta is Usher herpes. Are we talking about? Uh, never mind. Are two, never mind. Two separate I mean, things. I like, know there's a there's a performer named Usher. They're the musical artist I, named I, Usher. Or and then I also the, know I also know there's people. movie theater ushers. I don't understand. Do the people at the movie theaters uh, have a bad uh, breakout of herpes there in so, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. So I think, Georgia as a state, you are searching Usher herpes. Uh, Atlanta. Um, New Orleans, Fats city. Domino. Georgia is a is a state. So, so Fats Domino recently passed, and so okay. uh, he was from New Orleans or, or Louisiana. That makes sense. You know? and similar and so with uh, Oklahoma, uh, uh-huh. Bill Paxton. Who, yeah, the actor. that was a bummer. He passed away, early. and so everybody's searching way too early. Uh, do, do you know what this giant penguin? Why uh, no? Why why Michigan is is no? I don't is searching. What is for giant penguin? That's the search. I, I have no idea. Maybe what? why don't you search it real quick? What, what? Oh, pull up another tab and okay. search "giant penguin." Yeah, yeah. And then Arizona's map will show up. <laughs> Joe Arpaio, pardon, and, and and giant penguin. What is giant penguin? Yeah, a lot of folks I, in Michigan are interested. I they they are. I I'm having trouble. F- I mean, it just came up with a whole bunch of things about the the giant. In penguin. California, the most googled search in 2017 is Colin Kaepernick collusion. <laughs> The, for, the the former Forty uh, Nine er uh, that is weird quarterback that is weird I, I'm having to uh, I I gotta make the link here but because it's gonna bug me this is how one of those things like you okay. you I won't be able to sleep um, yeah um, so now now I'm shifting over oh oh how sad North Carolina's number one Google in 2017 yeah why was Bill O'Reilly fired. <laughs> North Carolina's invested there, huh? Yeah, I guess. Um, okay, so here here it is. What Ka- is the Cal- giant Kalamazoo? Oh, which is Michigan. a city in Michigan. Uh, they now this was back in 2017. Yep. But uh, they flew a giant penguin <laughs> balloon really? for a boy dying of cancer. Oh, that's cute. That's good. Um, so uh, everybody wanted to know. Hmm. Yeah, about it. So, golly. Yeah, I, I'm I, I'm blown away by that. You know, there's these predictive sorts of uh, Google searches. You know, if you if you start to type in something, it's trying to to uh, finish your sentence for you or by topic. Um, do you want to? Sure. Do you want to take a guess at? Uh, let Let me see if I. Um, what do you want me to type in? I'll I'll type in something and we'll see and what it, it starts finishes? to predict. Yeah. Race car. Race car. Okay. I'm going to type in race, and the first things that came up were race, race three, racing junk, races in Iowa, race and ethnicity. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to type in Ronnie. Ronnie. Ronnie Jersey Shore, Ronnie Coleman, Ronnie Van Zant, Ronnie Wood, Ronnie Radke, uh, Ronnie Millsap. I know a couple of those. Yeah, do you know a couple of those? Yep. Okay, I'm going to do Bo. And uh You're going to get a guy from Vietnam. But Bo- <laughs> No, I'm being serious. Okay. I got You're going to get Bo Jack. I got Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson? You didn't I get got Bo Jack? Bo Diddley. I got Bo Dukes, Bo Burnham, uh Bo Derek. 
And uh, that's, if you put in Bo Woods, that's the uh, there's there's a there's a Vietnam guy or a or a. a <laughs> anyway, Vietnam guy, yeah. Hobo Woods, that Hobo Woods, Hobo. that's it, and he's from Vietnam. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Hobo Woods. So, they are located in the Bing Duong province of go. Chu Chi. So uh, to the west of the Iron Triangle and the Saigon River. So I'm competing against Hobo Woods in the Google search <laughs> uh, category. Hey, um, so my email. Uh, do you know that Netflix show? I don't. Bo Jack. It's got the horse head or something like that. It's oh, a cartoon yeah. or no, something. Yeah. Are you familiar with it? Did I, it ring I just a bell? heard of it. But so, yeah. so my email, my personal email is Bo Jock. Yeah. Because I was a disc jockey. Right, and so right. I took my name and added Jock, Bo Jock. And if you type in Bo Jock, it always comes up with that TV show or that Netflix show, Bo, Bo Jack. Right. It's a character. I don't know what it is. I, yeah. I don't take time to look yep. at it. But yeah. So that's, yep. that's interesting okay. stuff. So the, the top uh, 10, I'm not going to go through all 10. Uh, okay. Do you have a guess of actors? Uh, over the top most, 10 most searched Googled, actors, Googled, Googled actors. actors. Yes. In yes. 2017? Because we got to yes. Okay, so uh, no, I don't have a clue. Uh, give me, give me, no, I wouldn't have a clue. Actors, actors. Um, no, I wouldn't. Now, this is a little bit of a cheat and a crossover. Number one was Meghan Markle. Okay. Okay. She got married to the yep. prince. Number two, Kevin Spacey, for not good re- <laughs> okay. reasons. And he's, he, he not only, he's the one on the list here that. <laughs> Was not only being Googled, but he was also doing some uh, Googling. Uh, uh, there you go. There you go. Seventh, seventh uh, planet from the sun. That's Ron. That, that. <laughs> and then Gal Gadot, or Gal Gadot. Uh, she's uh, Wonder Woman, the actress who played oh, Wonder right. Woman okay. that came out. Uh, do you have any guess on songs for, no, for last I'm year? No, I'm an oldies guy. No. I know you are. Despacito. Okay. That was a Justin Bieber collaboration. Okay. And, uh, um, Most Googled songs. Yep. Uh, most Google album was one by Taylor Swift. Second was Jay Z. Huh. And I know you're 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 fascinated by that. No, it's okay. Um, here's the top protests that were Googled because there were a lot of protests. Are you Me not, too. Are you not? Si- <laughs> I'll see if that's on number nope, one. That's not on there. Huh? Not on there. Um, or were you just saying no. me too? No, right? I was saying, <laughs> okay. how is that? I, I see it on every Facebook <laughs> post from my friends. How do I have? All right, the number one, it, this is 2017, was the NFL national anthem protests. Yeah, yeah, I'm over that. I'm tired of protests in general. I got to tell you, I'm, I I, mean, you know, maybe, maybe I have principles, maybe I don't. I don't know where I fall. <laughs> I don't know where I fall, but you know what? Yeah. You know, you know, I'm never coming that back there to them again. Right. I've, I've got to make my stand. I'm right. not that. Big of a guy, no. But I gotta tell you, I gave up football. Yeah, I'm tired of it. I I can give you another reason to give up football. Yeah, I just heard that this this upcoming season right now, mm-hmm. they are having uh, male dancers Uh-oh. either replace or join cheerleaders. The cheerleaders. Huh. Okay, so for, for what now, reason? I'm not against for what reason? I'm not against that. Who, whose idea was that? It's just like honestly, now really, <laughs> like who who do they think is watching these games? <laughs> you know, this is <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. It's too bad. This isn't some. Uh, you know, I, you know, we could do a whole podcast. Let's touch base on that. We could, we could do a whole podcast on that, and it's ten years old on that NFL take a knee thing. You know, oh, and, yeah. and I don't want to get too political. Yes. And, and I'm sure I have these statements that are just ignorant. Right. But, you know, you got contracts. You, you've got a business. Yep. You're an employee. Yes. You're not a football star. You're an employee. <laughs> right. You get a paycheck. Yep. I don't know any other industry, <laughs> welding, airplane design, manufacturing. Yes. Starbucks. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 travel industry where if you took a knee <laughs> during yeah. work, the boss wouldn't fire you. Yeah. Huh? Exactly. Uh, but that's okay. I don't uh, want to get started. That's yeah, it. That's no. It. We're, yeah. yeah. We're well, you know, gonna... freedom of speech. Well, they have the right. Well, they have the right. They're uh, working. They're an employee. If the employee doesn't like it, you get fired. Right. See ya. Bye. That's, You're done. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's discrimination. That's discrimination. No, no. There's a boss and there's an employee. Good Bo, luck. Oh, Bo. Luck. Sorry. Come on. Sorry, what, sorry, what, sorry. We'll, what we'll settle that down <laughs> is if we just put some good male dancers out on the field. That will yeah. that'll bring yeah. Bo back to football. That's right. I know Bo likes those male dancers. Hey, do me a favor. You were searching those Google searches. Put in Prescott Realty and see what comes up. Yeah, Prescott put Realty. It up. I will. Well, see, that is an actually a brilliant 
uh, name for their company. Yeah. When you think about it. Right. Because if you live out of town and you're going, gosh, I wonder what the realty is. Where's a realty market in, in northern Prescott, Arizona? Or and you, who, just, who can... you just Google Prescott Realty. Right. Uh, then uh, don't be surprised that the very first thing that comes up mm-hmm. is PrescottRealty.com, our sponsor. And it took you 1.2 seconds to get that it, search result. Well, it took me 1.2 to say it. It only took 0. Point 0.4 seconds to, to, to find, find it. it. Google is way faster than I, than I am. And, <laughs> uh, but you can. You can check them out at PrescottRealty.com. Or you can call them at 928-499-8700, and they will just give you a, uh, a no commitment. And when they say that, they really mean it. You can call with a question or a need or, hey, I'm thinking about looking. Uh, can we go out? They're not going to waste your time. You won't waste their time. But they're just helpful, kind people help you with all your real estate needs. Give them a call today, and uh, they will help you out. 928-499-8700. Thanks for listening to The Ronnie and Bo Show, available on your favorite podcast provider. Please connect with The Ronnie and Bo Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and RonnieandBoShow.com. Send comments to RonnieandBoShow at gmail.com. This is your announcer speaking. I'm Shotgun Tom Kelly.